am Lindsay and this is Pogo and we are going to do a little bit of work on impulse control. And impulse control is important because when you're working with your dog in really everyday life, you don't want the dog mauling you and jumping up and taking stuff out of your hands. And when I'm training, I think it's really easy to use a bowl because it's really easy to get your hand in and out of and you don't have to worry about opening a bait bag or getting into your pockets. And you don't constantly have food in your hand hauling it around in front of the dog and getting them all confused. So the bowl is really handy, but where the bowl falls short is the fact that the dog can reach their face in really easily. So I'm going to show you how to teach some basic impulse control. And the way that we start that out is we take the bowl and we present it to the dog and we don't let them have it. And so if they reach in, and she already knows this game, so she's not going she's not going to try it. Well, just, oh, that was a very lovely drool stream that you just did. So what we do is we cover the bowl if they reach in like that and until they back off. They might lick, they might chew, they might bite, but I don't want you to say anything and I don't want you to react to the dog. So you just completely ignore them. And as soon as they look away from the bowl or back away from the bowl, there she looked away, you can reach in and give them a treat. So there she took a step back, so she gets a treat. Another step back, she gets another treat. That was my hand. Good. And the biggest thing is don't let your dog reach in and steal the treats, especially at this stage. So if you think the dog is going to dive in there, get your hand on the ready so you can move it in front of the bowl to keep them from, from digging in. So as the dog will... Um... So she says, technically I'm not touching it, so you should be giving me this treat, but I actually want her to uh, back away a little bit further because she knows this game. But since I picked the treat up, she thinks that I'm about to give it to her, so she's being a little pushy. So I just took it out of my hand. Oh, there we go. That was better. So when the dog, when you have the bowl in your hand and the dog isn't trying to maul you anymore and will look away or back away like she's doing and you can kind of have your hand here and they're still not diving in, then the next step is you can put it on the floor. But remember that you're probably going to need to be on the ready to guard it. So I'm going to put it on the floor. Oh, that was super nice. She backs up so she gets a cookie. There's a foxtail on the ground. That's fantastic. She backs up, she gets a cookie. Oh, that's super. And I'm not gonna say anything to her, I'm just gonna reward her when she moves away. Good job. And so then I can take this and I can put it right under her face. And I remember I've got my hand up already so I can block if I need to. Good. She continues to back up. So now I can stand up and I can bring the bowl around and she is not going to reach in and take treats. So if I'm working her and I need to have the bowl in front of her, I don't constantly have to worry about her just diving in and helping herself. So that's the beginnings of teaching some impulse control. Happy training from Lindsay and Bogo.